So there's this sort of dual nature of my work where I'm moving in between the two worlds, I'm moving in between the industrial world or what would happen in an industrial situation and back into like a more sort of traditional art making task. Uh, I studied uh, visual arts at uh, Newcastle TAFE and then went on to do a Bachelor of Visual Arts at Newcastle University. I did painting and drawing and stuff like that too, so I was pretty, pretty well schooled in, in sort of life drawing and you know, the traditional kind of um, disciplines. But it wasn't until I started my fitting machinist trade, probably five or six years later after uni, that I started to see the beginnings of a, a sort of style coming together for me. Um, because I'd always been a tinker and come from a family of tinkerers and makers and mechanically sort of minded guys. And um, I always thought that those two worlds were kind of separate. Um, and through my trade, they sort of came together. I got into it because artistically I was, in, I was interested in it. And it, it's basically um, modern sculpture. As far as the scale goes from traditional artistic practice to industrial sort of techniques and processes, that aren't conventionally sort of thought of as uh, having artistic kind of uh, merit or potential. Um, you can kind of slide in between that scale. So it's interesting to bring the angle grinder sort of application into an artistic sort of um, sense of utility because you're making these sort of semi-random rough sort of freeform marks and then you're um, putting the angle grinder down and then paying attention to these marks and you're working back into them with like grease, more house paint, things like that. And um, you're even sort of returning to them later on when the artwork's kind of reached a few kind of different incarnations as well. Yeah, I think that's probably one of the most unique things about my artistic practice. And it's sort of using the artistic moment to archive and, um, you know, collate all these sort of industrial sort of practices as well. I've exhibited fairly extensively up in Newcastle with a lot of local galleries. I've had a few shows in Sydney. And the reason why I opened Tedge Gallery here is um, I needed a space to be able to sort of hang shows in my work the way I wanted to and be able to experiment with that and get a sort of first-hand feedback from people. For me, the standard question is, oh, you know, are you you're an abstract artist or you're a figurative artist? With this kind of technique, you sort of arriving at a figurative kind of representation by an abstract means. And so in my art practice, the abstract and the figurative are sort of, they're intertwined. So along with the angle grinders and other sort of industrial tools like drills and um, circular saws and other mark making tools, um, I'm also using traditional artistic um, sort of tools as well, implements. Just, you know, house paint brushes and that, and, you know, chalks, pastels, oil pastels. Um, there's a lot of graphite going on in, in a lot of my works. The textures are, yeah, they're basically 2D reliefs. People like sort of, if people, if people know you're an artist and you come from an industrial background, the, the first thing they say is, um, you know, are you a sculptor or, you know, they don't necessarily think of you as a painter and you are sort of painting still and there's a lot, there's a big connection with using the angle grinder and, and you drawing and People have said that my sketching style um, translates into the angle grinder kind of drawing style as well. The physical aspect of my art style, it validates all of that sort of time spent in factories and whatnot. And I mean, I love my trade, but I get the freedom of that sort of artistic kind of um, training as well. It's very much like a dance. There's a, there's a big kind of choreography to it and it's, it's definitely much more of a performance. Um, so in that way, I'm sort of carrying on the tradition of, um, you know, the abstract expressionist slash action painters, which is, um, which is fairly liberating.